Hello guys and girls, this is part two of the uh, Ingersoll tool. I've literally gone into a fucking, gone into a wormhole. I've just been sat picking Ingersoll's fucking day and night just because I can now. Yeah, exemplary tool, guys. Fuck off you. All right, so this one, this is this is important, all right, because I, I realised this. Uh, and obviously I don't know much about Ingersoll's, but after speaking to my colleague Lee from London, who lives and breathes them, I now know the difference. So this particular Ingersoll, obviously is the S profile, that's what the tool fits, not the A profile by the way, uh, but the actual full night latch is called the SC1. So what this has is a double locking feature, all right? So basically you can pull the door to and turn the key twice and it fucking, it locks everything, all right? So that means bypass method won't work, fish bash bosh, okay? now. Because of that, these particular night latches will only open anti-clockwise. Now, I have picked them, I can pick them anti-clockwise, but it is a lot harder, a lot harder. Now, if the door is just pulled to, okay, and obviously you don't want to drill it, you want to use the tool, what you can do, <laughs> you're going to enjoy this, is you can pick it clockwise, okay? Now what's, what you would have to do is pick it and stop rotating because what will happen is if you rotate all the way around it will double up the fucking door and then, then you are fucked, alright? But, <laughs> we can plug spin them. <laughs> As you can see I've been having great fun, having great fun. So, you'll see that I've changed this now so my tension tool is at the top and this is going to be the second part of three videos. Because on the third video basically I'm going to show you how to decode the lock and cut the key for it. What about that? Alright, so in we go. Bollocks deep. Now, hopefully you can see everything I'm doing. Now, obviously, I know the particular binding order of this lock now. So hopefully it will open a lot quicker. So I'm gonna go to position one. Ooh. That's what we're after. Go to position one up here. There you go. Yes, yeah, so obviously I know the binding order, so. Hopefully, we can open it a lot quicker, or sometimes it doesn't want to play ball for one, one, two, three, this one should be binding now, it is, it's this one that gives me fucking particular aggravation, get on, get, what we're after, nope, that's dead, can you see that? This one causes me fucking real heartache. So one, one, get on. Number four is the key. Oh, I've got a bouncer. That's what we're after. Go to you. No time. No time. You can see I've got rotation. Yeah? So in reality, it wouldn't take you that long at the fucking door, I'll tell you that. Uh -oh. Click on you. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want picking? I don't think so. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. We're now close. No done. It was you. <laughs> How long did that take? Four minutes! And that's been properly done. Now, obviously, if I was to carry on rotating, yeah, <laughs> so there's no spring pressure, uh, I'd double lock the door and then I would be in a world of fucking shit. I remember doing that when I very first started. Bumping a night latch, didn't realise it had the uh, double double locking fe feature. Bumped it the wrong way, and deadlocked it, <laughs> and then come bump it the other way. Fucking nightmare. Anyway, there we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tool out at roughly that position. Now what we're going to do is going to use my trusty dyno plug spinner. You'll see that the end is absolutely fucking muddled to death, but that's part and parcel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to torque the shit out of it. Whoa, hey. Torque the shit out of it. 
and we're going to get bollocks deep into the kiwi and we can do because we can there you go and then hopefully <laughs> oh i've been having fucking great fun guys great fun right this reminds me actually because i spent six hours in a wormhole on a lock that I couldn't open could not fucking open it and i was like no why is this not doing it now so there is situations where your tool will not work and i found this out because actually they're really easy to take apart so this lock i actually took home with me and basically i'm thinking why the fuck can i not pick this lock so let's see if we can somehow do this so what i'm gonna do is insert my packing tool get in okay so i've inserted my tool in there and there and there now what you will notice is one of the springs so in this mucky little position here one of the springs has come out okay and what that's manifested itself like is let me just try and get underneath it so is it you yeah so if I go to position three here, so if I test everything else, you'll see there's lots and lots of spring. I'm not putting any tension on the thing. Go to position one down there, and you'll see it gives lots and lots of spring back. So if you're on a live job, before you even start, don't apply any tension whatsoever. Just test each lever and see if it's got a bit of spring. Because if you go to position one, you'll see, sorry guys, lots and lots of spring there but when i come to position three you see there's zero spring back and what that mean is basically lock, lock ain't never ever gonna pick but i guarantee you once i pop that spring back into where it's supposed to be the lock will fucking open anyway i hope you enjoyed that guys as you can see i'm having fucking great fun i fucked all my jobs off today just because i want to be in here <laughs> see you for part three wait wait